What's up, guys? Zach Calhoun here, co-founder of CloudPaleo.com. Got some exciting updates for you today, and I am excited to share them. If you don't know who we are, we are a 360 virtual tour software. Create 360 virtual tours on our platform. Use Cloud Panel live video chat. Upload to your own URL. Create a whole selling experience, a selling environment. Join the movement. And, of course, on Cloud Piano, you know, which is a 360 virtual tour software, you can also upload to Google Street View, which is today we're going to talk about some updates that we've done and created to the Google Street View editor. Okay, so when you first get started, you, you become a Pro Plus member, upgrade your cloud account, uh, click this big green button. And then once you sign in, you'll see a dashboard looks something like this. You're going to go into one of your tours. I have a Chevrolet showroom example. Um, in, what I put in this example here, and the, now there's a lot of really cool features here you can you can use to create a really cool virtual tour experience. But I'm just going to jump into the GSV editor. That's Google Street View, and click this little orange man right here. Okay. Now, what I what I have here is an already started Google Street View virtual tour. I already have three photos added. I'm actually going to go ahead and add a few more, um, and I'm actually um, not going to really care at this point which way they're facing, even though typically you want to, you're going to want to set North Point. But really what I'm trying to do right now is show you some example of an updated feature. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to add all six of these photos, okay? Just real quick. We'll set it right here. Why not? Okay, great. Um, let's just face this one as well over here. Okay, now, if you're watching... My screen over here to the left, you see all these images that are connected over here. And you see this little map editor. Okay, so I'm now I'm gonna click this little expansion button to give us some better feel, better understanding of what's happening and where we're gonna place these um, specific locations. And we added some features to help this uh, move even faster for you. Okay, now you can see that I'm moving the image location. So basically the lat along where these where these locations are gonna show up on the GSV editor. Now, I moved those, but you can see that I have this current um, sixth photo selected, okay? Also, we added something called scaling. So this is really, really important. So if you hold down control and zoom in, you can, you'll can see that the maps, um, in this case, it says two meters. Um, you can have a better feel for the distance between these two locations, okay? I'm gonna zoom out and it's gonna zoom me out as well. Okay, so my my, my ruler will adjust to the scaling, really big deal. Um, and also, if you click on this little pen right here, it gives you some added direction, okay? So it says click, on, click a second marker to add a connection, right click to remove a connection, command or control windows, plus click to switch scenes, okay? So really important, so watch this. So I have this six photos selected, and I want to connect it to this, in this case, scene number two. So I'm going to click right here, and you'll see it's now connected really quickly. I saw this pen highlighted, so I can also connect this guy. If I just, so I hover over, and you see that that's what connection will be. I'm just going to click right there, and it connects it. Click right here, and it connects it. So it's a, it's a really quick way to, um, to add some connections, right? I'm in my little editor mode here. Now, if I click, if I hold down Control and click 1, I actually moved that location. If I hold down control or command and click six, I go back to that location. Now, if I right click, let's see if I get this to work. Oop. Well, I'm zooming out. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's working. I'm just not clicking the right spot. So if you if you have a select, so the arrow indicates which spot you are selected. Okay, so if I click on uh, photo six, it connects it here, and the same thing as well here. Now, what I was doing was clicking on the line. Don't do that. You want to click on the dot itself. Right click to remove. Left click to add the connection. Okay, right there. 
There it is, just like that. So it's a quick and fast way to add connections and remove them. Uh, and then to, just to jump to the next location, you just hold down control and click it and boom, there I am, I'm at that location, photo six in this case, okay? So what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm gonna connect all these photos to each other. So I want one is missing the next connection to four, so that's what I'm gonna do real quick. And then I'm gonna have, uh, let's see, I'm gonna have two, so I, I held down control, I jumped over there, and I'm gonna hover over five, click it, there it is, and over four, got it. And the three is already connected, and so is one. So let's see, is there any more that I have not connected in this example? It looks like I want to move over six a little bit just to give some give some room, some space. Now, obviously, the examples I'm showing are inside this car, and I'm kind of showing an example of a circle here. This is a, it's to indicate, let's say you were walking around this dealership and taking seven photos in this case, or six photos in this case. Um, you you would separate those based on where you were at, at each location, right? These photos are actually inside this vehicle, so they're probably much tighter. Like let's say like five and six were, you know, let's say hypothetically like this. And then you had some that were outside as well. Something like this, how it would look. Um, but in general, that's hard to see, so I wanted to show kind of more of a demonstration. All right, so when all, here's some key things you need to know. You can scale up and scale back, scale in, to just use your mouse wheel. Okay, you can have to press this little um, drawing dot here to just go faster. So if I right click or left click, left click, um, I can add and delete connections quickly. Okay, I have to click on the dot, not on the line, like I was doing earlier, that was, that was incorrect. So click on the dot or on, on the number. Um, that's how you uh, can add and remove stuff quickly. And then, so I'm just showing you again another example. There you go. And you can also use command or control to jump around scenes, okay? So what this does is it just adds some speed and agility to your GSV editing world, right? You wanna go fast, wanna make sure everything looks good, um, but also we don't want to uh, necessarily be hampered by the scaling or um, just in general, we, we, we just want the editor to go fast, right? So that's what that is there for. Hopefully that makes a lot of, a lot of sense to you. And as well, of course, if one of your north points is not set correctly, you can always just jump onto it and click it. Um, it looks like, in this example, oh yeah, four is not connected. So one way to in, to show indication here of, of, of no connection is, is this little um, plus symbol. You just click plus, and you set your north point here. Let's make it uh, this way. And you'll watch that reflect as well in the map here in a moment, which it did. So I kind of, in, I like the level, man. We have a level, by the way, we do have multiple levels now as well too. Uh, I prefer creating through this little map tool here um, and letting the connected scenes just kind of play themselves out. Um, but it's a help, it's a helpful double check or indicator of, of kind of what um, you may have missed in case you were, you know, if you select room one, hold on control, select room one, and I don't, I don't have any connections there that I'm missing and I want all of them connected. And that's how you can qu quickly do that. Okay. So again, you have full control here, full customization. Um, and it's a really cool feature and really helpful to the business owner and to the 360 photographer looking to sell this as a service. Um, so I hope this was helpful and clear as mud. I was going fast, but overall we have another announcement video showing you how to use Google Street View. And now you just have some more features that we've added into it to make it more robust to help you grow your business. I look forward to you having more success on cloudpanel.com. If you haven't already done it, go to cloudpanel.com, click upgrade, upgrade your account to Pro Plus today. I'll see you inside.